Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Lara Croft's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Last episode of the day, unfortunately. I really could go on all night, but unfortunately I have a boring day job. Let's get with Jonah and see where we end up. Man, I really like this environment. It really has like a cool mix between realism and comic book adventuring. Right, here we go. This is probably for two peoples. We can get through here. Give me a hand. Alright, I think there are some enemies over there in the camp. Pretty sure. You see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. Ah, it's actually a village. It's too bad we don't have a binocular. I would really like a binocular actually. But first, let's get down there. Maybe we can get a binocular in town. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. <sighs> oh. Guess I would oh. not like that. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. I would probably not do that. Oh, gosh. Right. You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. So, is this already the village? I wonder whether we could swan dive. From here, probably not. Looking if there's anything below the water surface, I don't really see anything. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. Maybe. It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. Right, we have some kind of artifact. The structure is here because we're on our way to that village. Me too. This depicts the Incan god Khan. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Cone was in charge of the wind and the rain, although in some legends he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother Pachacamac was in charge of weather that came from the north. All right. Interesting. Let's get a plant and another one. <laughs> you want to try it? I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. A proficient Quacha monolith. Learn ancient dialects to decipher. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard you know, life and if death. I, known how much time I lie trapped place, within I, their eternal I'd struggle. Alright. Two serpents guard life and death. I like trapped within their eternal struggle. So that's probably somewhere over here, I guess. So to the back of Lara. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. So what did it say? Two serpents guard life and death. 
So snakes or something, I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. All right. Serpents. You tell me, but first let's see what's up here. Bowl of cinnabar powder for a few more info. Cinnabar was artwork. used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. All right, learning moment. Ah, here are the serpents. Found you. Search the world to find monoliths and uncover their circuits. secrets. One moment. Something in my eye. But I just did discover a monolith, right? Guess so. Right. <coughs> Let's get what about you? Puzzling. You ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. Nice parrot. Right, we have two arrow. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah, the thing is, I feel a lot better already. Two arrow uh, targets over there. Not sure what this is. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. What does this do? Nothing. Okay. Let's let it go. Slowly. Alright. So that's some kind of leverage that we can utilize. Canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuff canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. <clears throat> All right. What do we have here? <coughs> Does this do anything? An aqueduct. I think that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. All right. Good to know. Hopefully it's not timed. Anything off here, people? Nope. Foamy water also looks pretty cool. Anyways, let's see if this one now does something. Oh, wrong button. Maybe it will fill up. The bucket to the right, which will the then. The Good. Oh. Let's see what those counterweights do. Oh, the 
buckets leaking. Come on back. We'll try again. Right. What the hell did that do? If I attach a rope, those two will need to be connected, I guess. The rope thingy over there to the one over there. As soon as that one gets back up, it will pull the bridge also up, I would think. But there was also something over here. Let's check that out. Beautiful shadows, like real-time ray tracing. Ray trace shadows, if I understood correctly. All right, we have a counterweight over there. Nothing I can interact with. And a little treasure. Actually, I hope those treasures also give sufficient height because I really don't feel like shooting too many uh, cute animals over here, like deer and stuff. I'm not really a hunter. Sorry, call me a pussy. All right, anyways, did I already check out this one? Yes, I did, right? Yes. Let's try that again. No, but that will just be a repetition of moves. All right, one more time. Jonah is hanging there still, so. All right, that one goes down. Ah, I know what to do. Let's do it again. Then I race down and then I will hook the rope. Here we go. Here we go. Very nice. Okay, you can let go. Let's get across. Very cool. No idea how it works, but it did work. That one went down. Yeah. Right. That one went down. This is really weird. Just thinking about this mechanic. <coughs> this bucket goes down, <coughs> then you would think that the line also retracts that way, which would make that beam, that line goes in a, an angle on that wheel, I guess. So when the bucket goes down, this beam should go up. Not down like it did. Maybe it's just me. Am I missing something here? Of course, it's suspension of disbelief, but... Yeah, that's probably just me.
Good work, Jonas. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a Cold. recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. Could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. All right. Eye of the eagle. Hold left button, then tap Y to use the perception herbal mixture. Perception herbal. Perception allows Lara to sense animals and natural resources throughout the environment. Handy. Perception plants allow Lara to sense animals and natural resources throughout the environment. Upgraded to add the ability to sense enemies as well. Pretty handy. Pretty handy. Wonder how long it lasts. The effect. But let's first see if there's anything outside over here. Nope. Nothing much. Here we go. Alright, here we go. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. I like it actually in the jungle, Jonah. Just screwing about a bit. It's really my kind of spending time. Not too much thinking, just screwing about a bit. More Jaguars over here? I hope not. We'll be making some arrows just in case. How much do I have? Wonder how many I can make, actually. 25. The max. It really has. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. A better Lara Croft fight. No, say anything about Peru? no, I mean there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru, Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But Dad's notes stop in Mexico, like he lost interest or. Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. It really has more of the classical That's Lara That's promising. vibe than the earlier remakes, like Rise of the Tomb Raider and stuff. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Vukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Makul, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hun Kame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins, after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Vukub Kakwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. All right. How far do you think it is to Kwakyaku? Assuming we're going the right way, um, hard to say. But the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. 
people were here at some point. Mom, mono, let's. Let's just hope they still are. Thank you very much. Challenge tomb nearby. Explore to find entrance. There was also actually a challenge tomb all the way at the beginning that I could not um, enter because I, re mm, yeah, I didn't have the required uh, gear to open it up. Where did we came from? Over there, right? All right, but the challenge tomb will probably take some time. I only have nine minutes left. Sorry, I'm a little buggy. Actually, these base camps are pretty close to each other. So even with the on the hardest, hardest difficulty level, which is the same difficulty as I'm playing now, but you only can save at base camps. Doesn't seem, yeah, they're not that far apart. Except in the beginning, it's all quite far. Uh, there's not really any base camp. But this is all pretty doable, it seems. Let's see what's this. I found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll wait here by the fire. Is this the challenge too? Let's first check it out over there. You find anything? Roots and ruins. Ready to head out then? Let's go. That's the challenge tomb, right? No, I think this is just the main story uh, path. The challenge tomb might be actually the one over there. Let's check it out. Yes. Ah, you can also see it by these uh, statues. There were also yellow statues at an earlier challenge tomb that I could not enter. One second. Right, here we go. I really like these challenge tombs. It's like just playing along while not necessarily progressing in the game, except upgrading, getting upgrades for Lara herself. But the story is not, the story is still, yeah, it's on hold, so to say, but it's still uh, there. It's really, I like that concept, like just messing about while also having the freedom to simply go ahead and continue the main story once you feel like it. Challenge tomb. Challenge tomb. Let's see how far we can move out. Ah, pretty far actually. Where the hell are we? Volcano. And this is probably where we are, I guess. Cozumel. Oh, this is all Cozumel. You see, in Cozumel, I still have to do some stuff. Peruvian jungle, 66. I will try to have it all 100%. And our objective is find Kuwak Yaku. And what's that 12% then? World map, 12% complete. All right, this is probably the overall game progress or something. Here we go. Man, they put in a lot of content. I'm not really sure about the length of the game, but even if it would be a short game, 
I'm still somewhat impressed with the amount of content. Or the, 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 yeah, the deepness of the side areas and the attention to detail in them. I really dig these corpses. It means I won't have to kill those animals myself. Alright. No way through over here. But Lara is not looking up for nothing. Without a reason. Here we go. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. Can we get up there? No, not really, right? We can get done. Nothing up there, right? No, cannot really get there. Somebody booby trapped the place. Not sure what all this breathing is all about that I hear. Like that's Ah, a map. All the secrets revealed. I actually don't really like those maps, but it is what it is. Survival cage to the right. But I'm picking up those backpacks anyways. Just because it's probably also good for the... Um, yeah, for the upgrade probably gives you the character All right here we go these are pretty daring jumps that Lara makes and let's get over there And now what? Let's use our thingy, our rope. And is there anything else we can swing to? Nope, not really. Here we go. One, two. Three. Thank you very much. The music and the, the yeah, it's done pretty well. It really is like foreboding, like this gear is early twentieth century danger. All right, a so lost expedition. What the hell does that says? A Schumann powder, albumen powder. If I knew what it was, I would tell you. Nothing much in this little camp, encampment. But it does really feel like a... Um, really feels like being an explorer over here. Hmm. I thought maybe that would be a challenge of some sort, but it wasn't. Alright guys, hitting the 30... 
minute marker again. I will continue this, yeah, in my book, super fun exploration <coughs> in the next episode. Really uh, bummed out that I cannot do it now, but it is what it is. Really like this screwing about a bit over here, taking in the scenery, a bit of the um, yeah the the uh, adventure um, settings that we're coming across, like this lost expedition. Anyways, we'll do be continuing that in the next episode. Hope you will join me there. Hope you enjoyed this episode and that you yourself will also not ever forget to always keep on gaming. See you later.